Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the three Primal brand coffee creamers. These were sent to us from Christopher in Texas. So thank you very much to Christopher. Uh, this is the salted caramel. This is the butter pecan. And uh, the cinnamon dulce. So Christopher uses these. Christopher has a keto lifestyle and he uses these on keto. It says, life is short, keep it sweet. I created this alternative creamer to support my dad. His new lifestyle was dependent on maintaining blood sugar balance but he struggled to find an option that fit with his new goals and tasted like his old favorite sweetened cream coffee. Primal now serves others who love their coffee treat, are flavor fanatics, but who are also conscious of their food choices. I'm excited to share this with you and cannot wait to bring wholesome joy to your ritual. And that is from Courtney, the founder. They are uh, made with monk fruit and stevia, no titanium dioxide, no corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners, no partially hydrogenated oils, no soy ingredients. Um, this is uh, non-GMO and gluten-free. They are made in the USA in Los Angeles, California. Their website is www.primal.com, P-R-Y-M-A-L.com. Uh, four teaspoons, 10 grams is 45 calories. And that's the same for all three of these, 45 calories. The salted caramel, sweet and salty decadence, base notes of fluffy whip with ribbons of caramel drizzle. Are you ready? Go for it. So what you do is to make your, your cup of coffee, we, the way that we make it. Now, Christopher, uh, with his coffee, he uses um, unsweetened almond milk, and about uh, two uh, tablespoons of the, the creamer, and he froths his unsweetened almond milk. Um, so what we did was we put our sweetener in each cup, and then you want to add the creamer before you pour in the hot coffee. And it says that on the package. Pour the powder in first, and then pour the hot coffee on top. Um, we reviewed uh, four of these yesterday, so if you missed that review, I'll tell you right now. You really need to stir and stir and stir and stir and stir because even after you stir, um, it's floating on the top. A lot of the screamer, it's, it's not mixed in. It's it's just floating right there. Um, so that's just the way it is. So salted caramel. Yeah, if you had, if you did have it like a froth or something that like mixed in better and really was like really agitating, it probably would mix in better. But. Which one is this one? Salted caramel. That's a very sweet flavor. I got a little mm -hmm. bit of a caramel flavor to it. Mm -hmm. it. Tastes a little burnt caramel because of the coffee flavor behind right. it. Right. But it's not uh, it's not overpowering. It definitely adds a different flavor to your coffee and a mm -hmm. sweetness to your coffee. But it it I, I like that. I do too. It's I nice. Like it's a nice sweet flavor. Yeah. If you ever, this is different than flavored coffee. Flavored yes. coffee tends to be a little bit lighter on the flavors, so it's, it, and the, the flavors aren't as bold. Right. This is more like flavored creamers. You would buy like the, uh, yes. like the containers of flavored creamer where it's really strong sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes you have For to. For me, add. it's not at all. Some not, of them, you're talking about the liquid. Yeah, the like liquids some, don't work with well, me. Well, they make the powders too. The, but the if, if yes, the uh, the flavored powders. Now those I think. Yeah, are strong. like I had mint one time. It was like. Yeah. It was so strong because you would normally put in your normal amount of creamer, and it's like flavors are really. Well, this is what this is like. This is like those powdered flavored creamers, which is right. exactly what they are. Right. So the flavors are just a little stronger. Is what I'm saying. Then. This next one has me scared, and I'm just going to be 100% honest. Butter pecan. It smells, uh, it's the butter pecan. It smells, when you smell just the powder, like a very, very, very strong chemical. So I'm wondering if that's going to come through at all. It says, tastes like a scoop of timeless summer ice cream flavor. It's rich buttercream pecans and sunshine. Uh, so Maybe it's the sunshine that's the chemicals. <laughs> How do you capture sunshine? It does not taste like it smells. Thank the Lord. <laughs> it really had me worried. Because I thought, 
Gosh, this smells oh, really no, good. No, it's very, very um, nice. It almost has a butterscotchy kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, honestly, yes, it does taste like butterscotch. It's good. Like a melted butterscotch. I like that more than the first the one, than the salted caramel. It's more developed flavor. It's, it's yes. more complex. Yes, and it, yes, it's and it it is even sweeter than the salted caramel mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, I think so too. It's it's, it's very good. good. It's very, very good. Um, I probably used uh, two tablespoons in each one of these. By the way, that's what I used. Um, so more than the 45 calories. So uh, this is the cinnamon dulce, a golden ratio of brown sugar, cinnamon swirls, and milk. This coffee house comfort, and this is coffee house comfort in a cup. This one smells good in cinnamon and meat. It makes you think, to me, it makes you think of uh, the holidays. Mm. That's, that's very nice. That, mm. that would be my special, like, afternoon coffee or something. Yeah. That wouldn't be my in the morning, first thing in the morning. Get your caffeine on. Right. And that would be my afternoon, snuggle up in a blanket, read a book, watch a sh TV show, whatever kind of coffee. Because it's, it's just... Um, the cinnamon, the it's cinnamon, but it's sweet, and it's, it gives you that cozy holiday feel. It, it's really, really good. It is good. Cinnamon. You, you get that good cinnamon flavor, but it's not overpowering cinnamon, so mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah, my I, favorite is the butter pecan. Mine flour. is too, and it's amazing. I'm telling you, if you only knew how scared I was when I smelled that. My favorite's the butter pecan as well. Yeah. And then I probably pick the cinnamon. I would too. Yes, and so that's uh, and the salted caramel's really good too. It's just somebody had to come in third. Somebody had to come in third, and when you're comparing them side by side, this one did not have as strong of a flavor. It did not add as strong of a flavor to the coffee as these two. Yeah, did. you still got the, the coffee flavor. You still flavor got the underlying that. coffee flavor with the salted caramel. You really didn't with these. It no, changed them completely. It does. It's almost like a hot. This, the cinnamon was almost like a. Almost like a hot chocolate without the chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I agree. No, I agree completely yeah. with you. It's like a, a cinnamon hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah. It's it, not really chocolatey, but it's cinnamony. It changed the coffee <laughs> so much that yeah. you wouldn't have known it was originally coffee. Yeah. Right. So, very, very good. So, Christopher, thank you mm -hmm. very, very much for sharing these with us. We really appreciate it. Um, if I, uh, Christopher said that they sell these on Amazon. If I can find the link, I will link it below. Uh, but if you all have ever tried Primal Creamer, we had never heard of it. Let mm -hmm. us know which one you've tried and which one is your favorite. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.